New this morning, U.S. News and World Report has released its best states rankings. They did so at about midnight. Rhode Island coming in 34th out of 50. That's actually a drop from last year when our state ranked 26th. 12 News reporter Erica Ritchie is joining us live at the State House with the reason for the slip. Erica. Well, Danielle, it has a lot to do with our rough roads in Rhode Island and the high cost of housing. At least that's the analysis of the House Speaker as he took a look at the rankings that were just released overnight. Take a listen. And all kinds of uh, opportunity for us to look at how we can improve our infrastructure. The cost of living in Rhode Island, specifically housing, is very high. For, for many Rhode Islanders, affordable housing is way out of reach for them. Too much so. Mm -hmm. All right, so U.S. News and World Report used the most recent data from January 2021 to derive its rankings. They're based on data that measures how states best serve their residents in eight main categories, including health care, education, economy and infrastructure, opportunity, fiscal stability, crime and corrections, and natural environment. Now, the Northeast states, including Rhode Island and Massachusetts, scored pretty high when it came to things like health care, crime and correction, and natural environment. But Rhode Island was number one, not in a good way, by the way, uh, with the high highest percentage of poor road quality. The report suggesting that half of our roads, 50% of them are in rough shape and in need of repair and maintenance. Let's talk about Massachusetts now. Them on the other hand, well, they came in top 10, number nine in the best overall category, according to US News and World Report. The number one state guys, Washington State over in the Pacific Northwest, the number 50th, Louisiana. That's the latest live in Providence. Erica Ritchie, 12 News.